Hey guys, Tony here. Hope you're doing well. It is Wednesday, April 11th. Uh, Ripple has invested $25 million uh, to drive the innovation in the blockchain space, guys. Um, and specifically, they gave that $25 million in XRP to Blockchain Capital Parallel, which is the first fund to accept capital calls in digital assets, meaning that they accept uh, investments via cryptocurrencies instead of traditional fiat currency. Um, and that is focused entirely on development of the blockchain space. It says here the $150 million fund managed by Blockchain Capital will invest in entrepreneurial teams that are building businesses using blockchain technology. The investment will also provide an opportunity to identify new use cases for XRP Ledger and Interledger Protocol. As open source platforms, the XRP Ledger and Inter Interledger Protocol provide an avenue for developers to work directly with the technology and build on it. While Ripple's primary focus has been to remove friction from cross-border payments, the investment blockchain capital's funds uh, provides an opportunity to support and develop additional use cases beyond payments. So a couple things here, guys. Here, if you recall, I reported on blockchain projects which are building on uh, their, uh, on the XRP ledger. So essentially, ICOs could launch on the XRP ledger, which would be huge. We talked a bit about how, what that did for Ethereum. You look at what's going on with Ethereum, right? Where the price was and where it is now. Obviously, the market's down, but... I'm talking about growth, right, in value with so many ICOs and projects being built on the Ethereum network. If some of that was to come over to the XRP ledger, that inherently, right, will just drive the price of XRP up as well. Because especially if they start building tokens on that that are XRP driven. Um, the other, if you guys recall, Ripple is looking to fund businesses and startups and power them with the uh, XRP ledger, right? So where they can leverage XRP. If you recall my interview with Omni, the, the CEO and founder of Omni, where that guy, Thomas McLeod, got uh, like $25 million in funding. And some of that was XRP, some of that was cash. And they are looking at using the XRP token within the ecosystem that they're running because they are a storage service where um, it's like the Airbnb of storage. So if I have like a a more a bicycle that I want to rent out, I can do that uh, in the ecosystem. And of course, people can pay me. And if they can use XRP within the ecosystem to do that, that in increases the use case, the you know the volume uh, uh, on on the XRP ledger and so forth. You guys get the idea about that. Um, so if Ripple is able to position itself in startups and businesses as well as get companies to build uh, pro blockchain projects on their ledger, that will be huge. Not just uh, cross-border payments and money transfer, right? We're looking at other use cases, which is great. All of these use cases combined will help drive the value up, will help Ripple as a company to grow. And as you can see here, we're talking about the XRP ledger here, right? We're not talking about um, uh, X current or anything like that, that uh, things along that line. So I think this is a great move. Um, the Ripple is positioning itself um, where it can uh, start putting out its tentacles, right? Reaching in different areas, different verticals, and get partnerships, get get uh, folks on board with, with them. So I think this is a huge, a very smart move. Um, and it's just twenty five million dollars in XRP is nothing for them, um, as you guys know. They own sixty percent of it. Uh, so the right moves are being made. So this is great news. Uh, I, I know it's not one of those things where um, it's 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 uh, not a partnership, so to speak, in a sense of, uh, you know, a bank using XRP or something like that. But it's the move in the right direction to get those pos uh, potential use, use cases, right? Investing in startups, getting more people to build on, on the XRP uh, ledger. So definitely a smart move. This is why I, you know, I'm always complimenting the Ripple team. They are steps ahead of many of these other cryptocurrency projects. Uh, real working problem, uh, real working um, product, and solving real world problems. So definitely a big move here, and I think will reap a lot of you know benefits for Ripple in the long run. Uh, the next big news, guys, and it puts a smile on my face. JP Morgan is being sued 
over the fees they charge for cryptocurrency purchases. And I was, uh, I want to say, a victim of this. And I think many folks, especially if they were using coin, if they had, they were uh, using a JP Morgan bank transfer or credit card or whatever it may be, JP Morgan started uh, charging fees, claiming this is some sort, you know, buying cryptocurrency is a cash advance, which is total BS. Um, so just to give you guys some details here, JP Morgan Chase & Co. has been hit with a lawsuit in Manhattan federal court accusing it of charging surprise fees, which they totally did, when it stopped letting customers buy cryptocurrency with credit cards in late January and began treating the purchases as cash advances. Um, so I, I misspoke there. It's specifically with credit cards. Um, and it says, filed on Tuesday on behalf of a proposed nationwide class, a lawsuit said Chase charged both extra fees and substantially higher interest rates on cash advances than on credit cards and refuse to refund charges when customers complain. So I like that this is happening because um, these guys, you know, a lot of them have been really being unfair. Um, and we know that, you know, Jamie Dimon, the head of uh, JP Morgan, came out and said negative things about Bitcoin and crypto and backtrack a bit, bit on that. A lot of these banks have been just manipulating things and charging people fees for buying crypto, um, and it's which is really you know annoying uh, without giving heads up or anything like that. So I, I'm happy this is happening and it puts them in check because they do a, a lot of these banks, even Wells Fargo and so forth. You know, creating a fake checking accounts for people, they do a lot of crap. So it's it's good that they are getting checked on this, um, and and I hope they they have to pay out millions or whatever it is back to consumers who they unfairly charge those fees. So I wanted to highlight that if you guys, maybe you had a, you know, JP Morgan Chase um, uh, credit card or whatever it may be, and you got charged some, some fees here, you have potentially could be joined this lawsuit, you know, from a crowdsource standpoint and, and maybe get some sort of settlement. Definitely check it out. I'm gonna I'm gonna read up on it. I'll, I'll give you guys updates, you know, based on what I find. But um, this puts a smile on my face. So there you have it. I think uh, some important news today. So obviously, I think the Ripple news is big um, because I see the potential here and what they're trying to achieve. And obviously, with J.P. Morgan uh, getting sued. So what do you guys think about the Ripple news as well as the J.P. Morgan news? Leave your comments in the comment section below. Thumbs up if you like this video and please subscribe for more videos on Ripple and other cryptocurrencies. Talk to you guys later.